In the 1990s, they were a chart-topping band. Since then, the charlatans, formed here in the Midlands, have continued to sell thousands of records and sell out concerts around the world. But in August, their drummer, John Brooks, died of a brain tumour, aged just 44. Tonight, the band and many big names from the music industry, including Liam Gallagher, will take to the stage in tribute at the Royal Albert Hall. There are some flashing images in Ben Sidwell's report. John Brooks was at his happiest sat behind a set of drums. He was a larger than life character. He had a lust for life. John, who lived in Burntwood, was one of the founder members of the Charlatans when they formed in Warsaw in 1989. Tonight, the remaining members of the band will take to the stage at the Royal Albert Hall to celebrate his life. It's not like he's gone, really. He's just got his spirits there. It kicks in, it dawns on you. And, you know, um, it's a bit tough, I think, you know what I mean? But I think it's just, every time you think of John, it puts a big smile on your face. It was during this gig in Philadelphia in September 2010 that John collapsed on stage. Just a few months later, when I met up with him, he was in a positive mood about the future. I'm uh, at the start of a, uh, a long road of uh, treatment for my, uh, for my cancer, but uh, I'm feeling fit, positive, and I'm in, I'm in good hands. Sadly, John lost his three-year battle against the disease in August this year. He was just 44. At the offices of the Brain Tumour Charity in Shirley, they've seen plenty of cases like John's. 9,000 people a year are diagnosed with the disease and fewer than 15% survive. It's the biggest cancer killer of the under 40s in the country. He's making a, a big contribution now. He's passing, has uh, brought on this, this concert and the awareness and the money that uh, will be raised from the night will be part of his, his, his lasting legacy, undoubtedly. And there are plenty of big names who will be there to help the cause. So I only met him right through the gigs we've done and maybe out and about or whatever, you know what I mean? But every time I met him, I had a splendid time with him. And he was a good lad. John was passionate about music, especially here in the West Midlands. He co-founded a record label in Birmingham. And tonight, Dumb, one of the bands he managed, will open the concert. It doesn't matter whether he was talking to one of the big sort of rock stars that he came across at uh, worldwide festivals or whether it is a 16-year-old band member who was wanting some advice. He would speak to them at the same, in the same way, in the same level. And I think that was one of his uh, fa in the fantastic traits about John. Even now, you, you get one turning and he's not there, it's a big shock, you know. But um, he, he'll be there in spirit. I think it's a way I can all say thanks and good night. And thanks for the memories. Tonight's concert is about raising awareness of the disease that killed John. But it's also a chance to celebrate the life of one of the nicest men in music. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today. Yep.